whenever you begin looking into some of the work that the developer developer community puts out for Android devices, a lot of times you're going to see these phones referred to as their code name. This happens a lot because smartphone OEMs will sometimes re-release certain phones in different markets. So even though they have the exact same hardware, depending on where you bought the phone, it could have different uh, it could have a different name entirely. It has been a, it was a big issue with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 and the Redmi 5 series where China got one device named one way and then it was re-released as a Redmi Note version in India and globally. So for this reason alone, a lot of the developers will refer to their phones that they're working on as the code name of their phone. So today I want to show you a quick way to find out how to figure out what the code name of your phone is because it's not always easy to figure out. Sometimes it's on Wikipedia, sometimes it's explained on XDA, but using the IDA, applica IDA 64 application we can just about always figure out what the code name is for our device. So IDA 64 is just a free application that we can download from the Play Store once we download it, we can go ahead and open it up. It's going to start us off on this page. And this is just an, an application that will tell you about the different types of hardware that we have. Like we can go into the CPU section. And we can learn about this Galaxy Note 9 and how it's using the Exynos 9 SoC how the CPU core architecture is, the manufacturing process, all of, and all of that stuff. However, to find out the code name of our device, we're going to be looking into the system section. And not every smartphone OEM does this the same way. So I'm going to show you a couple of different phones and how they have put the code name of that device in there. So for the Galaxy Note 9, the code name for this device is in the device section. Meaning the code name for the Galaxy Note 9 is the Crown LTE. However, when we look at the Google Pixel 2XL, and we open up Ida64, go into the sixth system area, we can see the code name for this device in a bunch of different areas. The code name for the for this device is Tymon or Tamen, however it's pronounced. And you can see that showing up in the device code name section, the board, the device, the hardware, and even the product field within the system area of Ida sixty four. Now, just to give you one more example, this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro that I just got in, installed Ida 64, open it up, go into the system section. Now, the code name for this device is Tulip, and as you can see, we can find that in the device area as well as the product field. So again, different manufacturers put in the code name of their device in different areas. A lot of this stuff can be faked, so be careful if you are using modified software. But I just wanted to show you how to figure out what the code name for your Android smartphone or tablet is, so that whenever you go to download um, TWRP for custom recovery, or a custom ROM that you're downloading the proper version for your specific device. No matter what the actual product name is, 
in this case the Redmi Note 6 Pro, Xiaomi may end up selling this device in another country as the Redmi 7 Plus, but it will still be Tulip, meaning it will still have the same hardware inside. 